Good evening, everybody. Mater here. Well, I want to give y'all some update. Got my test results back. And good and bad, okay? Test results actually came back negative, which is a good thing. Some of the fact is that everybody in the ministry and my girlfriend and everything have come up being tested positive for it. Well, I'm being negative. Well, last Thursday, mind you, this is Tuesday the 22nd, I'm filming this on. Uh, so, I'd make it, uh, what, five days, uh, what, 17th? My girlfriend and I, we met for lunch. She hadn't had her test results back yet. It's like, okay, fine, gonna meet for lunch. So we did that and everything, and uh, we sat, you know, uh, across from each other. Normally we sit, you know, right, you know, side by side. Um, anyways, um, when I found out uh, Saturday morning that uh, uh, her results came back positive and everything, it's like, okay, well, I gotta let my boss know. Well, he said, okay, I'm under quarantine. So doing the math and everything and then finding out that several people from the ministry have also been tested positive for it um as of late friday i think late late friday something like that at least three four people have been tested positive well and then her result came back positive and everything well we had a christmas party on the 12th okay fine well it's already been seven days since i've been exposed to it so I was like, I went yesterday to get my get tested and got the results back today. Said not found, negative. Which I'm going good. I can go back to work. Called my boss up, told him what was going on. He says, nope, you gotta wait at least seven days after you've been exposed. So in other words, he's going by what I told him about me having lunch with her and everything being Thursday. That means I gotta wait till Christmas Eve or afterwards to go get tested again. So that means I'm still gonna be out of work. Luckily for me, I'm getting my Christmas bonus. I'm getting my holiday pay. So that's not affecting me, which is real good. Um, I'll be short about three days of pay on my next check, which I'll get on the 31st if I get back to work next week. Um, but yeah, um, I'm feeling fine. I mean, I've been out in my garage almost all day today, uh, doing stuff with the storage shed, getting uh, the boards and everything put together, uh, getting, you know, trying to get the walls and everything put up, doing the song. I even got out and I even put up the um, uh, weather stripping by the back door. So I've got energy. I don't have any of the symptoms. And the only symptom that they're, you know, calling is the coughing. Well, right here. My cigarettes, okay? Been doing it for over 30 years now. Um, actually, almost 40, I think. You know, something like that. About 40 years. Anyway, I got the damn coffers, you know, or smoker's cough, okay? So anyways, I've got that. Well, I've been having that for about three, four years now. And it's not that bad, you know, and now and then I'll cough up some phlegm and everything. It's like, Ugh, it tastes bad. Spit it out. If I get a chance to, otherwise I have to swallow it, which I it's like, well. Anyways, um, I guess it's one thing, the fact that, you know, for many years, it's kind of funny, in fact, the Surgeon General always kept saying, smoking is bad for your health. Well, this crap here has come out and everything, and seems that Corona doesn't like nicotine. So like, oh, so that means smoking is healthy for you right now with all this crap that's going on. I'm going, yes, I love it. And matter of fact, there's only two of us that do smoke that was at the party that haven't had any results, no symptoms whatsoever. Go figure that out. It's like neither one of us have the symptoms. Now, one other person, yes, yeah, she smokes and everything, but I don't think she's smoking as long and well, I know she hasn't been smoking long because she ain't as old as us, but um, I don't think she smokes as heavy as you know either he and I do. But it's like 
damn, seems like, you know, us older folks have been smoking for so damn long, we ain't got the COVID. So maybe that's something that uh, CDC needs to look into. But anyways, I just want to give you guys a uh, heads up. You know, I'm feeling good. Um, no symptoms. Um, I'll be going back to work as soon as I get I guess I get another test made. Um, and get that all done. The results come back in. So hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers. Um, either Monday or Tuesday I can get back to work. And of course it'll be a... Uh-oh. She sent me a text message. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, get back to, you know, hopefully Monday or Tuesday at the latest, um, get back to work, start putting my overtime in, get some bills paid, um, and I'm, I'm going to try and get some more videos, matter of fact, uh, tomorrow since I got to be at home and everything, um, I actually got started back again on getting the walls and everything all uh, put together. I've got some more frame sections I got to do. Um, I just haven't felt like getting out here doing it because being tired at work and everything plus the cold weather. The glue needs to be about you know it needs to be about 55 degrees. Um, trying to think of what else. Um, do need to get over to Harbor Freight um, to get some uh, Torx uh, screwdrivers. I've got the Torx bits and everything. But I've got a uh, little pancake air compressor that something's wrong with it. Um, if for some reason it won't uh, pressurize the tank. And every time I turn it on, I can hear it running and everything. But I turn it off, I can hear air escaping. So I don't, I've don't. got to take the housing and everything off. So I'll be doing a video on that. Be taking it apart and everything. That way I can figure out what's wrong with it. It's a little porter cable. Um... I will be trying to see about uh, uh, taking the camcorder out, which is what I've got set up right now. See about getting that all set up. That way, y'all can see me putting the uh, the framework together, which will be using uh, two by sixes. I was going to use four by you know you know four by four treated posts. I was like, no, that's just going to be too hard and the handle being 14 feet, you know, in one length. It's like, no, I'll just go two by sixes. I can get that all put together. It'll be a lot easier. I've got those. Um, I mean, yeah, I do have two by fours and everything I could be using for building this thing with. But I'd rather save those for a different project um, and everything. Whereas this wood that I'm using right now, it's all free. You know, all I got to do is take time to get it taken apart, get the nails and everything out. Um... Reminds me, I had something, been wanting to do this. There it is. Got a little uh, tool here. Sent to Sergeant Joe. So, he didn't know what it was. So, anyway, here it is. I want to see if anybody can figure out what this is. It's pretty heavy. It says Rex on it. And you probably can't see it because I don't have good enough light over by the camera. But, uh, anyways, this piece slides out. It goes back in. And got these little, this little jaw and everything. So... See if anybody can figure it out. I know what it is. This belonged to my grandfather, so I know exactly what this tool is. Um, and it's, it does say made in USA. I don't know if you can make that out or not. I'm trying to. Lighting over by the camcorder is not that great. I got it right here. One of these lights by me. One of these Harbor Freight lights by me. But um, this thing probably weighs uh, about two, three pounds, maybe a little bit more. So, anyways, I want to see if y'all can figure out what that tool is. I, like I said, I already know what it is. And maybe in another video or two, I'll um, actually demonstrate and show you exactly what it does. It's very handy. It's I don't think it's something that uh, they've made in a long, long time. So, anyways, uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, hit the uh, that bell. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. Um... 
just don't send me any nude photos unless you're unless you're a good looking female. I don't care. Um, guys, no, I don't want to see no nudies of you. I, no, I'm not into that. Um, but anyways, um, just trying to keep y'all updated. Yeah, I, like I said, I got my test results back negative. So, till next time, talk to y'all later.